basically, what I wanted to show you today is how I actually clean the reservoirs, okay? I have two reservoirs going on right now. I actually cleaned out all the other levels that I have here. I have a whole new batch of stuff. This is literally from, what's today, the 24th? Uh, today's the 25th. So it's 6 25 16. Uh, hopefully, you can see I got some nice lettuce going on. I got all this beautiful basil. What I did with those basil plants, instead of putting one seed in, I literally put like five to six seeds in. This way, I just have enormous plants going on. So, um, a lot of you might have seen, for example, how I set everything up. Well, I wanted to show you how I actually take it apart and how I clean it. So, as you can see here, what I did was, initially, you're going to have growth. I mean, a lot of these I had to literally throw out because I just didn't consume it uh, quick enough. And it's uh, kind of just getting burnt by the light. Because uh, if, you, if it's getting too high, it's a hazard. You want to be cutting that down. So you always want to be looking over your plants. <clears throat> so in this case, what did I do to start cleaning it? Because I want to put the new generation in and I want to clean all my reservoirs. And I mean, I literally have like six. And... Um, I have a lot of cleaning to do. So what I did was I just take a pair of scissors, I cut everything down, I throw it in the trash. Next, um, after, after you cut the tops down, what I do is I literally by hand, I just grab any of the roots or you could actually cut down the roots from within. You take those roots and just throw them in the trash as well as everything else you just threw in the trash. Next part, for example, here's what I do. So I take the pod with the remaining, um, with the remaining uh, root in it put that aside so as you can see here these are the clay pebbles that kind of surround that growing medium and I like to save those I mean look they're cheap but why throw the whole thing out don't just throw this entire thing out I mean think about it this is plastic you could wash this and reuse it so what do I do did you see what just happened I just took that out and look saved and saved so you always want to be reusing this material I mean these are clay pebbles they're probably good for a lifetime okay so all you want to do is just take this and dispose it okay as you just saw in my trash I have plenty of lettuce in there literally lettuce scraps that uh, that I just didn't consume and um, you know it's unfortunate but uh, it, it's not even something that you could give away because uh, it kinda goes pretty bad also so you're gonna have all these clay pebbles kinda stuck to the rooting like that uh, there it goes it focused there so you kind of want to just shake it off. Okay, also if you're using two hands, lightly just just touch this area and they literally just fall off. Okay, that's all you have to do to discard. You, you don't want to use that uh, actual growing medium. I mean, it's possible that you could reuse it. But um, I've never seen anybody reuse it and certainly I do not reuse it. I just buy brand new sheets. I actually just did buy a large number of sheets so I'm actually um, I'm going to be experimenting with some new stuff for indoor growing uh, possibly parsley possibly cilantro anything that we have available to us uh, us as humans that is uh, any seeds any organic seeds that do not require any type of flowering okay so if you guys didn't realize if you have a plant that requires flowering that means that the plant requires pollination. That means it requires either bees or wind to transcend the male pollen onto the female pollen to actually produce fruit. Okay, things like lettuce, they do not have a flower. Things like, uh, as you can see here, there's no flower. It's just green stem and like basil. So anything that does not require a flowering, I am going to try to grow indoors. I also have some really beautiful um, cucumber plants, as you guys might have seen before. I'm not sure if I included in my video previously uh, my cucumber plants, but I literally just put a number of seeds into some pots, and they're just doing beautifully. And I'm going to uh, make a separate video just for that. All right, so I hope that uh, made some sense to you guys on how to go about cleaning these. Basically, the next thing is you just take these all out. Okay, so for example, you just take them out. And uh, your next steps would be, hopefully, <coughs> uh, basically your next steps would be, you just take this off, you take this off, you disassemble the hose from the, um, the aerator stone, and you take this to your nearest area that you can clean it. And what I do is I use an old toothbrush, 
and I literally just scrub this top. I scrub the bottom of the top, and then I do the same for the inside. And uh, I, I run a little bit of soap through it, and then uh, once that's done, I actually like sometimes to just uh, put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide for additional germination cleaning. So it takes out a lot of the germs too. And then after that, I just swipe it down, let it sit, and then they're ready to reuse again. All right, so I hope that was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching.